church. Wait a second. Where is everyone? Where are they? Oh, that's right. You guys are at home today. Well, we're here and we're going to talk about all the great things we did this year. Um, let's see. What is it that we did last year? Laura, Miss Laura, what was your favorite? Hmm. I think it was our Little Pals play dates that oh, we did in the summertime. That was so fun. We had so much fun playing together and getting to know our friends. That was my favorite. I really liked field day in the summertime where we had those water games. We had these like really cool water balloons that we threw and then we had some relay races. It was a ton of fun. What else did we do this year? Oh, remember the parents nights out? Oh yeah, those were so those. fun. And the glow night. Oh my gosh, that glow night was so great. We had the, the disco party. ball and the dance party. Disco ball in the littles area. We had dance party up in the kids area. Tons of fun. Super fun. Yeah. Well, I am so excited for all of the great things that we did in 2023. But I'm also really excited for all the things that we're going to be doing in 2024. We'll have more Little Pals play dates. We're gonna have a family picnic. We are gonna have more Parents Night Out. And then we're even gonna be starting a backyard vacation Bible school in the summer. We can't wait to tell you so much more about it. In our kids' room in January, 
We're continuing our gospel project and we're moving from the book of Genesis and going into the book of Exodus. So we're gonna be starting off by talking about Moses and the way that he led the Israelites out of Egypt. We're gonna keep going with our big picture questions, our memory verses to learn more about God and who God says that we are. I'm just so excited to um, get into my favorite Bible story, which is the story of Moses. In the Littles area, we're going to continue in January with our Hi-Fi curriculum, and it's going to be a series on God Takes Care of Me. And today, you're going to continue your lesson with the Super Crew. Click the QR code below, and you're going to be able to find the Super Crew and see what the Super Crew has for you in our Bible story today. And for our first and through fifth grade kids, we have a fun activity for you to do. So if you click on the QR code on the screen, your parents can download a bingo card. And on that bingo card, you'll look and listen for things in the service. And when you find them, you'll mark them off. If you get a bingo, bring it back to us on January 7th for a cool prize and a sticker on the board. Happy New Year. We look forward to seeing you in 2024. Can't wait. I wanna go Good morning, Next Community Church. Happy New Year to you. It's going to be so good to worship God together this morning, each of us in our own homes. I'm coming to you from my home, and so we're going to worship together. We're going to open up the Word together. We're going to look back at 2023, and we're going to look ahead at 2024, and I pray that this time together this morning will be a blessing. So let's take a minute, let's pray, and then we'll begin. So Father, we come and we thank you for your goodness to us, your faithfulness that is so consistent. Father, as we think back over 2023, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the ways that you have showed up, for the ways that you have blessed, the answers to prayer that you have provided. God, we thank you for what you've done. And as we look ahead to 2024, we as well, God, we have um, great anticipation of what you're going to do. And so we commit that year to you. We commit our time to you this morning. We want to worship you. We want to end the year worshiping you. And we want to begin the new year worshiping you. And we want to do that now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, let's worship our great God together.
so good to just worship our God. He's deserving of our praise, deserving of our worship. To be able to worship together as a whole family, there you are in your living room. I pray that that's a special time for you. It's a special time right now, December 31st. Here we are on the last day of the year and on the eve of the first day of the new year. And so we're, we're, we're right at that point where it is a great time to do two things. One, uh, to look back, to look back over 2023 and to really to celebrate all the things that God has done and to be thankful for those things. I'm gonna encourage you to do that as a family. I took a little bit of time uh, to do that and to do that about what God did at Next Community Church. And I made a list and I wanna share it with you. Um, but before I do, I wanna read you a scripture. And it comes from Psalm 65, verse 11, that to me, I think sums up our year of 2023 at Next Community Church. Here's what Psalm 65 says. It says, you crown the year with your goodness. Your paths overflow with rich food. And when I look back over 2023 next, that's, that's what I feel like is that God um, crowned our year with goodness. And I, I look back over the path that the Lord led our church on and I just feel like it was, it was blessed. It was a path that was filled with rich food. Um, and so I made a list of all the things that uh, God did in 2023, just a list of some of the things. Well, we don't have time to do all the things, but the, f the first thing that came to my mind was literally the opening of the gathering place, literally a, a path of rich food, if you can call donuts rich food. But it's been such a blessing having that space to enable us to come together in between services, after service, to connect with one another, to fellowship with one another, to, to literally have some food together. There's something about that that enables us to connect together. That's been a blessing. That started off in January. And then this year, God just provided such great staff at just the right time that we needed. Answers to prayer. He provided Andrew, our worship pastor, who leads us before the throne room of God every Sunday. What a blessing to have him on our team. He provided Michelle Roush, who's overseeing our Renew ministry on Monday nights, and we've had so many new groups begin to help people walk in their identity, to heal from the wounds of their past, and to be set free to walk in freedom with Christ. And then he gave us Hannah Larkin, who many of you might not even know is on staff, but believe me, she's behind the scenes, and she's doing so many things that make next go. Our new staff has been a blessing in 2023. God led us to Belize to partner there with a missions organization and to begin the groundbreaking work of reaching an unreached area, a, 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 a village really that's out kind of in the middle of nowhere to hopefully one day see a church planted and started there, to see a, a pastor raised up that's going to be the pastor of that church plant. We're going back to Belize in 2024. That was an answer to prayer. Um, we brought the carnival back. We hadn't done the carnival in, in three years. And so to do the carnival again and to see thousands of people from the community come and be on our property. And we heard time and time again, they just, something was different about what they experienced when they're um, with God's people and on God's property, so to speak. And so uh, this year was the year where we did our Holy Spirit conversations and God brought us on this journey of experiencing the more of him in that he has for us in the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. We started our after service prayer ministry in all three of our services where we're praying for the body and we're trusting God to answer prayers. We, we had so many new people that came this year in 2020. Many of you came this year in 2023, and it's been a blessing to see our church continue to grow. And so um, that's just a partial list of all that God has done in 2023 when we stop and we think about how God, Psalm 65, crowned the year with goodness, his past overflowing with plenty of food. We just thank God for what he's done. And then we stop and we look ahead to 2024, and it makes me think um, of the verse in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 31 um, is the point where Moses, he's 120 years old at this point, he knows he's not going into the promised land, and he brings Joshua up, and he brings Joshua up, and he says this to Joshua in front of all the people about what God's going to do in the future, and here's what he says, Deuteronomy 31, verse eight. But the Lord is the one who is marching before you, 
He is the one who will be with you. He won't let you down. He won't abandon you. So do not be afraid or scared. And when I think of 2024, I think that's an amazing passage, an amazing verse for us to hold on to and to claim and to believe that God is the one who's marching ahead of us. We have, as an elder team, um, over the last couple months been praying and seeking the Lord and saying, God, what is your focus and your priorities for 2023? And we believe God gave us three, and I wanna share them, or excuse me, for 2024. God, we think, gave us three of them, and I want, to, I want you to be in with us. I want, I want you to have these priorities for 2024 as well, because we believe this is what God is calling our church to. So if you call next home, this is where we're going in 2024. Not because it's our idea, or our strategy, or our vision, we believe this is what God has called us to. Three things that we're gonna focus on this year in 2024. Um, the first is we, we know that God still has more for us to learn, to understand, and to experience with the person of the Holy Spirit. And so we're gonna continue to do some Holy Spirit nights. We're gonna continue to do some encounters. We're gonna continue to maybe even have a new thing or two about um, how to have all that God has for us in the person of the Trinity, of the Holy Spirit, his gifts, his presence, um, the, the fruits of the Spirit, all that the Holy Spirit wants to bring. 2024, I think, is gonna be another fruitful year. Um, another area that we know he's calling us to focus, focus on, the second area, is, is really how our church started, and, and we feel like we drifted a little bit from it, and we're coming back to it, and that is to be a church that continues to focus on discipleship and groups. Discipleship in groups. It really is what God has called us to be as a church, to make disciples who live in community so we can reach the community. And so I'm so excited. We told you in 2024 that we're gonna have kind of a, a community group expo where we've been doing training. We've had lots of leaders go through our training over these last couple months. They are forming new groups. And the third weekend in January is gonna be literally a community group expo where we're gonna have all of our new groups set up. They're gonna have tables in the gathering place. And our prayer and our hope is that we would have 10 of them that would enable about 100 to 150 of you to now get into groups where you couldn't before because our groups have been full. And so that's coming, kind of a new focus and priority or a renewed focus and priority on our community groups this year in 2024. And then the third thing, and this is maybe for some of you a new thing, but um, it's something that God has on our hearts from the very beginning, even when we said we're staying here and skip back, we're buying this building, and that is to plan a church, to be a multiplying church. Um, we believe healthy things grow, and by the grace of God, we're, we're growing. And so uh, if you've been uh, to our services, especially the 1030 service, you know there's no more room to grow. And so we have two options. We either say we stop reaching people, and we don't let any more people come, or we multiply. And that's what God has put on our hearts to do, to be a church that is going to start another church, to plant another church. We think there's probably three areas that... Um, could be a, a potential church plant. Um, we think maybe up in the Pennsburg Green Lane area up there. Uh, we think maybe out west a little bit in the Royersford Spring City area, that direction, or, or down around East Norton area, Methacton area, down the Norristown area. Those are the three areas that we are prayerfully holding loosely, um, seeking God for. Uh, in 2024, the plan is, is to bring on another pastor that would be the church plant pastor that we would send out in 2025. Again, all of this um, is held very loosely. We're seeking the Lord on it. But we know, I, I've been telling our staff and elders, I think it's gonna be the hardest thing we do. And it's gonna require sacrifice. It's gonna require some of you for the sake of the mission of continuing to reach people to perhaps give up what's comfortable and what you've gotten used to to say, I'll step out. I'll step out into the unknown and be a pioneer of starting something new. And so if you've never been a part of a church plant, let me tell you, it could be one of the most exciting things that you do. So we'll talk more about that for sure in 2024. I just think it's gonna be an amazing year. And so um, as we do every year, we, we kick it off with a week of prayer and fasting. That will be coming up the third week in January. January actually 14th to the 19th. Last year, God led us to do interruption week. And 
we, we loved it so much and the feedback was so great. We, we just think we're going to do that again. We're going to consecrate that week and we called it Interruption Week because we wanted to kind of interrupt our schedules and we're doing something every night of the week at the church. We're fasting during that week and coming together as a church to have times of prayer and worship. And so we'll have something every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me tell you what we're doing each night of those nights so you can know. Monday night, we're gonna do prayer stations like we did last year. You'll go through different places in the church and pray for different things. Tuesday night is gonna be our next Holy Spirit conversation night. And we're gonna dedicate that night specifically to talk about demonology and about the reality of demons and and how the enemy wants to stop us from going after the things God has for us. So we'll talk anything and everything about demons that Tuesday night. Wednesday night is just gonna be a night of praise and worship and adoration of our great God. Thursday night is gonna be a night where we come together and we pray for the next generation. Youth group meets on on Thursday nights, our middle schoolers and high schoolers, we're gonna pray over them, just like we did last year. And then we go to the children's parts of the buildings and we pray for the littles and the elementary kids, consecrating and praying for the next generation. And then Friday night is gonna be a fun night. Friday night is gonna be baptism night. And so if you have not yet been baptized and you're a follower of Jesus Christ, you're gonna wanna sign up and you're gonna be baptized. That whole night is just gonna be baptism after baptism. And so I think this interruption week is gonna be an amazing week. It's a week where we kind of set up heart and we say, Lord, speak to us about 2024. We want to seek your heart. We're going to seek your face. We're going to do that as a church every night of the week. Interrupt our week so we can come after you and seek after you. And so mark that down now, January 14th to the 19th that week. I hope that you'll join us every night that week if you can. Um, It's going to be an amazing week. And so here's here's what I want to invite you to do. I want you to do the little exercise that I did already with our church, and that is this. Maybe do it as a family. Maybe do it right now as a family. And that is, look back over 2023. Take a minute and think about all of the things that God did in 2023 in your life, in your family's life, the way he was faithful, the way that he showed up, the things that he did, he blessed you with. Maybe it was a trial, and there's some things he taught you through the trial. How did God show up in 2023? Make that list and then thank him for it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to think about 2024. And I want you to take a minute and before you start asking God to to do things in 2024, here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask God, what do you want to do in 2024? God, what, what in my life do you want for 2024? And give him that opportunity to speak to you about what he wants for you in 2024. Church, I think it's gonna be an amazing year. It's a great way here to uh, wrap up 2023 and to look forward to 2024. I'm so glad that you're a part of Next Community Church. Love you, church, and look forward to everything that God has in store for 2024. Let's pray, let's commit it to him. Lord, we do give you 2024. We look forward to what you're gonna do. Surprise us, Lord. Surprise us with what you're gonna do. We hold it loosely. We don't control anything. We know you're in control, and so God, I pray that every person watching this, even right now, in their own life, would surrender their life in 2024 to you. God, what it is that you want to do, we want to experience. So increase our faith. Let us, Lord, want what you want. Let us lean into the things of you this year. God, we give you permission. Change us. Show us what our next is. Jesus, we pray these things in your name. Amen. God bless you next. We'll see you next week. Have a happy new year. God bless.